Falling on his niggas. Yeah, I might. Well, yeah, I'm straight. Falling on his niggas. Oh, it's a lane! Get out of there, dog! Whoa, ain't for your head top. I make them dead drop. They don't like Houdini. Can't see me, but they're not. Mix it up to the end zone for Trey. Yo, what's up, YouTube? So, this is going to be the game. Me versus Ghost on Friday Night Football, man. Shout out to my guys over at Mudhead for hosting these tournaments every week where us pro players get to link up and duke it out, get some comp Madden going on. I know my MCS season is over, but for a lot of us, man, Friday Night Football is a blast, dude. I usually don't get to compete in these because on Fridays I'm usually at work. But this Friday I had the week off. My guy sent me an invite. Of course, I pulled up, so... We're here playing my man Ghost. Ghost, man, you guys know Ghost Hassan. Um, former MCS belt winner. I want to say it was probably Madden 18. I want to say when he won that belt versus problem in the finals. But me versus Ghost, man. Ghost, a hell of a guy, man. A good friend of mine. Um, actually used to be in a crew with Ghost. So me and Ghost know each other very well. He knows how I like to play. I know how he likes to play. Um, the thing about Ghost is he's a quick daughter, uh, a dying breed in Madden these days with how much people are launching the ball deep. Always want to find good, like, deep beaters and whatnot. He's one of the few quick daughters left. Um, I like to think of myself as a bit of a quick daughter, being that I like to quick dot and get into the open field and get sticky. Him, it's more of, like, uh, just finding concepts that just are really close to unguardable. He does not like running things that are scary. He, the spacing between his routes are uh, very good as you guys see he is also a running saints tight offset tight end and you guys see me come out three three five wide well three three cub three three to three three cub my ebook i just put out and you guys see i'm establishing the loop early like that's my plan here establishing the loop early early and often man that's what i want to do i want to establish this loop now here i'm just running a cover two blitz scheme just trying to send some pressure I kind of, in this game, you kind of want people to quick dot underneath more than you want them to stretch the field with these um, corner routes. But he see, he sent out five there, got hollered at, but he had a quick dot ready to go. You guys see, he's a he's he, he likes he's a big time Brady fan. He likes to play like him too. You guys see, he's using him at quarterback right there. Didn't get my adjustments off. Um, what Ghost likes to do on third and fourth down when he's in a rhythm, he likes to quick hike you. Um, he likes to run hurry up. He likes to do those things so that you cannot change your zone drops. Right here, I, have, I believe I have my zone drops on 25, 10, and 5. Uh, 25 hard flats, 10-yard purples, and 5-yard hook zones. Now, I feel like I should have had a pick there. Very surprised my Sean T did not jump. I don't even know if they gave me an animation here. Boom. I mean, I got this ball has to be mine, in my opinion. The ball has to be mine, but that's fine. He's using this awesome Eckler. I'm assuming he's using them for back backfield master to improve his catching versus uh, linebackers underneath so good pitch and catch I guess he likes to do this motion over a lot um, he's motion over a lot motion over this kiddo and see this route combo here boom what he likes to do is throw away from your user right he doesn't even think twice as soon as your user takes a step he launches the ball wherever it need be the opposite direction that's how ghost likes to play my user takes a step left he knows he wants to throw right. Now, this is a good route concept down here. It's a streak and just a quick wheel. Streak running off these zones. Quick wheel quick wheel throw here. Boom. And I'm going to be trying to make adjustments later in this game to try to get a pick on that or try to confuse him, have him hold the ball a little bit longer, and you guys will be able to see. But he likes this motion over with Kittle a lot. Um, it's something he went, went to a few times in this game, something I don't do, and I do want to pause. Is it this concept? I do want to pause the game here in a second. Boom. Good flood concept. I mean, good trail flood concept. As you guys see, now this is like, this isn't the best spacing from Ghost, but he knows that as soon as my user flinches, he wants to throw this trail route. Boom. User flinches, he throws the trail. Like the timing on his routes is really good. It always has been. That's what makes him such a good Madden player. And he likes his motion over. It's not something that I implement into my tight offset scheme, but it's something that I have taken note of now. But when you guys see, I'm in cover three here. And boom, he runs a flood concept that frees up this corner out. Now, I do get the knockout here, but something I want you guys to see is that on this flood concept, people think that this is a regular streak, right? Boom. This is not a regular streak, right? By Rand, I don't know if this Herman Moore, I believe it's Herman Moore, but this is not a regular streak, right? So what he's doing here is this is going to be the play either PA Seams or Saints Drive that has that backwards post corner that's so hard to guarding this game to where 
this flood concept would not work with a regular streak, right? So the only reason this flood concept has any space at all, and it's a great concept is, because this, this corner route, this flag post corner runs so deep in the field, it turns into a fade. All right, now he should have been patient and waited a little bit longer or free form this, but this is a great route concept, something that I've used in other ways, but this is a great route concept, a little bench flood route concept scheme. Now Sherman, deep out zone KO gets our knockout for us which is great, man, but there's something I definitely took note of. He likes these flood concept corner routes with this motion over Kittle. So boom, as you guys can see, what does he do here? He motion out. This is gonna be another great route concept, boom. He motions out, lets him set, like, likes to let his route set versus zone before hiking. But man, as you guys can see, he's reading my user here. This is a user read play. Now, the correct read on this play was made, but there's an even better read that um, he did not see. So boom, pause. He's running a flood concept. This is gonna be a streak in a corner route. I'm assuming the outside guys on the corner route here. Reverse cover two. I mean, this is what the loop does. The loop speeds it speeds up his mind, so he can't look. He can't even look this far down the field. So he's now, as he sees this loop, he's reading now me, my user only. So he knows that this is a backside post, a drag, a backside post, flooding this out. This hook zone is never going to be able to defend this. And his job is going to be to read my user. He knows that I have a good user, so boom, I'm not going to give up a post ever. And the pressure is there, but Ghost makes this great read. I maybe should have stayed with the drag. I'm not looking. I'm trying to look at so many things. I did not see how good my loop was coming in, but he throws this drag right as soon as he's getting hit. I mean, that's just a great play. You guys see me looking back at my screen through my stream delay so I can see what happened on the last play. Um, very helpful, very helpful for uh, streamers to where we get to see what's on the, what happened on the last play. Nothing doing here. I play great defense, but he's driving the ball. He's driving the ball very well. Um, always a tough opponent to play against. Does not put bad route combos on the field that off maybe two percent of the time, one percent of the time, and that's and it's honestly it's. I gotta tip my cap to Ghost. One of my good friends has taught me a lot about this game and how to play Matt in the right way. So boom, you guys see he's now motioning over his running back. And I'm just trying to and I'm just trying to play underneath. Boom. We get a big tackle by Peppers versus Herman Moore. Now, see, now I made a mistake here, right? I made a mistake here. You guys see I, I call a timeout. I called my timeout too soon. Like I told you guys a little bit a little bit ago. Ghost likes to run hurry up. Boom. And I call my timeout too soon. He likes to run hurry up to keep your zone drops where they are. Now I should have waited until he came out or until he tried to run hurry up to press um timeout now it would have really hurt my soul to burn a timeout and then ha have him kick a field goal that would have sucked but ghost is pretty arrogant a little bit a little bit egotistical which is very good you have to be an arrogant asshole to be a great madden player he thinks he can get every first down but this one he did not he was not able to get very surprised that he elected to run the ball on fourth and one knowing ghost is such a such a good passer I personally don't believe in putting my bread on the line on short downs on the run because it's so random. But I play great run defense there, and we got to stop against Reggie White. Sorry, not Reggie White. Refrigerator Perry. A Reggie White fullback would be crazy. By the way, the um, new AKA X Factor cards were banned for this tournament, as they probably should be, right? So we're I'm backed up here, but we're out here on first and ten. Boom. I'm just trying to establish some quick dots. As you guys see, I'm doing my line protections, and this is another thing I want to pause for you guys. Sorry, I know I do a lot of pausing during these breakdowns, man, but I want to explain these small details to you guys. So here, I'm sliding my line away, and I'm IDing, right? Boom. You guys see, I slid my line away, so my line's going to kick out to try to pick up this blitz, right? I want to kick everybody out to the left, so my running back has a one-on-one -on -one with this outside linebacker looping, and I'm going to ID him so that I, so to help my running back know to pick him up. That's what I'm attempting to do here. But it makes a pocket so that I could, if I'm flushed out, I could step to the left just a little bit because everyone's kicking over that way. So that's how I like to set up my protection versus 335 wide. A lot of people don't believe in per, like blitz protections and pass, prote pass pros, but it's kind of been my thing over the past couple of years in Madden, being able to pick up every blitz in the game. It makes life a lot easier. Good nine yards here on this 0-1 trap. Uh, Owen Trap's been really good to me. I uh, always get 9 yards, 11 yards, 12 yards. Never really get the home run, but it's, a, it's great for keeping the keeping the flow of the game going. You guys see, I'm IDing here. Boom. 
Now, I made a bad read here versus match. He called all-out match coverage with two hard flats. I mean, that was really good defense by him. I got to just throw that ball away, man. I'm throwing to the smallest guy on the field that's being guarded by the biggest guy on the field. Now, it's not that big of a deal because I already got to stop. Like, I don't like to overreact to things. Um, I like to look look big picture on playing a game. Like, yo, I got to stop when he was in scoring range. So, this is not the worst thing in the world. So, you guys see Doom. All right, boom. I want to pause here. He's doing, he's motioning over again. Sorry, this thing sucks. He's motioning over again. And as you guys can see, I'm, I can see he's going to motion over because he's highlighted. So here I have a five yard curl flat to slam down to try to stop this running back wheel quick throw. I'm sitting five here, right? So if he sends out five, I'm sitting five. I'm expecting for my guys to come in free. So he does this little motion over. Boom. Hikes it. My guys don't come in free. He's patient. My guy slams down to five yards. He's patient. And the wheel route gets up to 10 yards. And boom, he has that open area of the field to get that catch in. And then stiff's arm, stiff arms the hell out of my my. Seawood, my Charles Woodson. So Fritz Perry is a hell of a player. Now, I'm going to be pausing again here because if you guys remember when I played K-Mac in LCQ, who also runs Saints, he hit me twice with this running back wheel route with, with the fridge, right? And nobody can tackle this guy. I'm, I just don't want to give this up anymore versus formation, a formation I run. And so I'm here on first down, a man in the refrigerator, Perry, thinking that's coming, but go smart on first down in the red zone, inside the 10, running the ball. Very wise. I think that that's what everyone should do, right? It's very hard to come out and pass the ball on first down inside the 10. Running the ball is always a great option. My run defense usually looking a lot better than that. But we give up seven. That's fine. When I get a stop and then I get stopped and then I give up seven, I think in my head, yo, well, I mean, this is how this game was probably supposed to go, right? Like, if he would have scored his first possession, this is how this game was probably supposed to go. So nothing is really, nothing crazy has happened. Like, nothing has really changed. So, boom, I'm setting up my blitz protections here. Trying to slide my line. And of course, you guys see me quick dive. And that's my favorite route on the field. That PA seams route. These quick out routes that are in this um, playbook. I like to call PA seams and cancel the play action completely by blocking the running back. I believe that blocking scheme is very good. Boom. As you guys see, I'm checking his abilities, right? So, boom, this is what everyone should be doing. I should have did this earlier. I'm checking his abilities, right? And you guys know it's impossible to play the defense without these KOs. This guy has every KO you can imagine. This is only three of these guys. Inside shade with medium route KO. Who, where is that guy? He's in the slot. Uh, you got pick artists with flat zones and deep out zone KOs, mid zone KOs, deep out. Like, he has KOs everywhere. His plan is to knock the ball out after you catch it. I mean, that's in, in mixing, sending blitzes. So, it's the best way to play defense, in my opinion. I'm just going to be running a, a, a slant post concept here. Something very simple. Put the user in conflict. He stays low. It's cool. That's the thing about user. In, he's using Julius Peppers in this uh, in this game. So the thing about those big linebackers are, or big safety that you want to use, are, they, will, they people like to stay low to try to jump, right? People like to stay low to try to jump up and get picks that they probably should be able to get. So I expect him to use her low for most of this game. He sees that I'm able to pick up 35 wide. He switches to the new... 3-3 loop blitz, right? I've been picking this up pretty good. I struggled a little bit in this game, I must admit. As you guys see, I'm double teaming that side. And I'm going to probably ID the opposite side. No, I do I not ID here? Taking my time setting up my combos here. But I ID the opposite side just in case he sends that, sends that slot corner. I want my running back to know who to pick up. He does send that slot corner, but that side comes in free. I'm able to get the ball out. And that needs to be my majority of the game, right? That loop guy is always going to blitz. The corner's not going to be able to get to that out route. I should be exercising that combo every play, right? Like, that's in my head. That's what I should be doing every play. I should be exercising that 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 space in that area where that guy's blitzing. So you guys see I'm taking my time. Now I'm double teaming the tackle since that loop came in free last time. Oh, now I just switch it to DN. I'm trying these protections one more time. This time it picks it up beautifully. I have the underneath, but I don't throw it. On second and inches, I'm looking deep down the field, right? It's second and inches, I'm looking deep down the field. I'm reading deep to short right there since it's such a such a good down and distance, right? I'm not fearful of not getting this first down. So boom, he's setting up this loop again. Threat detector is so good. I can see that his slot cornerback's blitzing. I can't see that the linebacker's blitzing though right here. I can't tell if he's dropping in coverage or not. But boom, this is, I mean, great defense. Um, I had a touchdown to Reek. It would have been tough to fit in, but I mean, I feel like I'm a free-form demon. I can fit in anything. Pause. 
Is that a pause moment? Probably not. Anyway, here we are, fourth and inches. As I'm sipping on my Apple Gamer steps, y'all know the code. Trade GG at checkout for 10% off your order. I'm just trying to set up something good here, man. What am I doing here? I motion over. Boom, just set up the run. That's good. All right, so I, right there, I motioned over to set up the run. I'm, I'm remember, remembering this game as I'm watching it. Motion over to set up the run here. He shifted his line to the right to stop a one trap, right? Which is very smart. He shifts his line to the right to stop a one trap. So what I do is I audible to inside zone. I motion over Kittle, the best run blocking tight end in the game probably, to make sure I, ha I now have the numbers, right? He has one, two, three, four, five, six defenders on the right side of the ball, right? Six defenders on the right side of the ball. So this is six versus one, two, three, four. And over here, I now have one, two, I have one, two, three, four, five, six versus one, two, three, four, right? That's just simple math. ID is user to make sure you can't get through. I don't try to get extra yards. I just try to get upfield and get the first down, make sure we move those chains, right? So boom, here we go. Now I like to run hurry up, all right? He probably missed up his zone drops to get a fourth down stop. And now I'm keeping this out route on the field to the right to where the looper is. I'm motioning over now. And I'm just trying to do this backwards post flag route. But the problem is I don't think I'm going to get the protection I need. Um, just This is a very long developing route concept. As you guys see, Ted Hendricks walks right through. I'm able to quick dot underneath. Pass his user. And that's what I don't like right there. That was a good read right there. But if his user is better, I'm throwing a pick six. Kind of a panic read, honestly. Not re really setting up a good route combo there. Just freestyling a little bit too much, getting off script too early. I know that play action picks this up as well, but I cancel my play action. But we do pick it up good, and you guys see I'm exercising this out route, and that's what I should be doing for a majority of this game. Wherever that looper guy is, I need that out route. Loop, out route, loop, out route. That guy's probably never going to be dropping in the coverage. He wants his loop blitz to come through. I should be quick throwing this out route over and over and over here we're in the red zone here trying to run the ball a little bit Keith Byers boom right great run here I should probably be running the ball again here I put Fridge Perry in the game let's see, let's see what run I call I'm very comfortable passing down here on the two-yard line but let's see what run I call I would call inside zone if this was me sitting here here at my desk. Looks like I do call inside zone. I'm trying to get the numbers here, right? I'm a, I'm a numbers runner. I get the numbers to the right, a double team to de-tackle. I think I could probably get, oh, that's what happened. I'm doing so much pre-snap, I take this five-yard penalty, and that kind of kills this drive. Oh, that kind of kills the momentum of this drive. Just don't want to burn a timeout. I already burned one, right? He's about to have a two-minute drill coming up, and I already burned one timeout, and that's just sickening. All right, I try to throw my running back flat to Fridge Perry. That K-Mac utilized against me a few games ago, in a few a YouTube video a few games ago, which was really good, but he's able to come up and make a big tackle. Ghost defense down here, really good, really confusing. I thought I've, I had thought I've seen it all, but Ghost had some adjustments I had not seen down here. Like this, I'm looking at this Bo Jackson to the left doing some weird stuff. Boom, well, I try to catch him with a motion. Guy just comes in free there. Just not a lot you could do. He burns a tight out. All right, now we have third and goal, and I really want seven. I know it's my ball I have, but he's about to get a two-minute drill, dude, and I just want seven more than I want to breathe. And I'm just here thinking, like, man. So a concept I really like is this flat running back wheel concept that I'm probably going to go to here. Saints halfback wheel is kind of like my go-to here with Isaiah Pacheco. Now, he is, he is running this loop, but this Bo Jackson has now come inside, right? And now that I'm watching this back, I can see what happened. This outside guy's blitzing, but this Bo Jackson has come inside of him. Pause. So now he has slot cornerback adjustments, right? And now, boom, I do this motion out flat, right? Boom, and he's hiked inside. So what happens here is that Bo Jackson is actually in a hook zone, right? Not a flat, right? Hook zone, not a flat. This is a read where I'm really looking to the right and if his user is all over to the right at all, I throw left. I don't even usually have to look. Boom. I usually don't even have to look. Right? His user's out of position. That's why he's sprinting over here because I, I don't think this was on purpose. Now that I see him sprinting, I do not believe this adjustment was on purpose. But I have to see this flat here. He's running to this running back wheel because he knows he messed up. So 
unfortunate. I throw a pick six here. I mean, if you guys want to watch him scamper to the end zone, I don't. I know what went down here. All right, throw a pick six. We're getting the ball back. All right, boom. Now we have a two-minute drill. Now I have to stretch the field. I have to get down the field. <laughs> like, I have to get down this damn field ASAP. No Rocky. You feel me? So boom, I'm trying to quick hike here. Quick hike one of my favorite plays. Now this is my one of my this is one of my biggest skills in the game is free form. Boom, you know a free form, get my feet down, get out of bounds, burst the KO. A lot of people don't know how to do things like that. And I I spent a lot of time in practice mode practicing these free form deep balls. And I'm just trying to get points here. But that's my plan. As you guys see, I'm getting shedded though. He clicks on, makes a huge tackle. That was Mario Williams, right? And I would love to know what he has on this Mario Williams. It's probably El Toro for zero AP. He moves him out though. He moves my guard out the out the way. Like that was rough. He moves my guard completely out the way. We're sitting at second twenty second and twenty one, and this is where things just get dark. Right now, I'm trying to stay in field goal range a little bit, but I do want I want seven. I feel like I should already had seven, but once again, here's Lawrence Taylor. And now I'm just pressing. I'm pressing, I'm pressing because I want seven so bad. I'm not doing my pass pros. I'm just quick hiking these play action plays. And I don't even believe in doing play action motions at all in this game. They get you shedded, as you guys can see. Boom. I even have a dot there. But see, the pass rush has been bothering me so much. If I just wait a half a second, this is a laser. Right? I rush my free form here. This the streak is not able to pull this um, deep half far enough. No one's even like the no one's even rushing me. And I'm sitting at fourth and 30. And I'm sick to my stomach that I have to punt this dang football. Alright, so I punt, he's down at the six. He has a minute 15. A minute 15 to cook up. But yeah, I'm very annoyed at this point. I'm very annoyed right here. I'm trying to send the blitz, get some pressure on him. He loves this motion, and now I'm having my I'm having my slot cornerback follow that motion every single time. I probably, I mean, I gotta stay with the short there. I gotta start trusting my D line abilities to get there a little bit more. But I just don't like giving up big plays really with my user in the area of my user in the middle of the field. He's quick hiking. We had great defense. We got a big sack. I call timeout here because now it's third. It's third and fourteen. He's on his one. My job here is to just try to get to him. Try to get to him, try to get to him. I, me, If I was me sitting here in this chair, I would send six. I do send six. I send the extra guy, forcing him to check it down. Send six, I send an extra guy there, forcing him to check it down, because I know he has to punt here. He's dominating this game. There's no reason to give me free points. He's gonna punt here. Gotta watch out for this Randall Cunningham. People be fake punting with this dude. But I'm kind of short legs this kick. Get the ball at the 48. Now here we go. I bought, my, I bought myself another opportunity to get points. Right? And I feel like in this game, the last two minutes of a half or the end of the game feel like years. They feel like years. Right? So now I'm trying to get this concept off. I'm trying to get this wheel concept off. Boom. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. My ball goes through my wide receiver's hands right there on that flood concept on the right side on that corner route. But it's all right. Stay the course. Stay calm, cool, collected. Stuff happens. Now I'm quick hiking without um, the play action, and this is buying me a little bit of time. Scary throw. And I don't get my feet in again. And I'm getting frustrated. You guys see I'm visually frustrated right now at this game. Because I have back-to-back -back plays where I feel like I have good, pretty good passes and I don't get my feet down. Here we go, same play again, because I know it's working. There, I get my full free form off. We get up this sideline. Herman Moore is waltzing in the end zone, and we have now cut this lead down to seven before half. Now, he has 24 seconds. I'm, it's so hard not to give up points in this situation in this game. I know it's not just me. Like, this sucks. <laughs> Being in this situation in this game sucks because it feels like an eternity. 24 seconds feels like an, an absolute eternity. So I'm trying not to give up a big play here. He goes back to this flood concept. I man up the wrong guy here, right? I need to be better, right? I need to be better here. He's already like five yards away from field goal range. The one thing I didn't want to do, I do. I give up a big play.
So boom, he loves this motion over, this motion over stuff. Boom. Now this is one thing I hate about Madden. Stop. He calls hurry up here to spike the ball. 12 seconds left. And this guy's on the ground. He calls hurry up to spike in only nine seconds run off. And you guys see how annoyed I am. That has to be fixed. I understand some of the things in this game aren't realistic and I'm okay with some of them, but that is not one of the ones I'm okay with at all. Like at all. That is something that I need to fix in next year's game. The hurry up, bring it back to where people are hurrying up on the screen. Like people are running up and down on screen. Like that's what I want to see. All right, so we're back. We get the ball in the second half. Now I'm dealing with this loop stuff some more. Dealing with this loop stuff some more. Boom. All right. Now that was a good play, but Ghost is like doing this user rush thing, which is scary because he could pop up at any moment with his peppers and pick off a ball like that. So I don't really like concepts like that versus, versus this user. Cause he could jump up at any moment, even though he was like user rushing me right there. That was really odd. So boom, I'm trying to attack this loop guy, right? Wherever that loop guy is, I'm trying to attack that area of the field. I just dropped the ball again. It's like getting a little bit unlucky here. I must admit, I don't like to say that I'm getting cheated or anything too much, but I can acknowledge that I'm just getting unlucky. So when you guys see, I'm keeping that out. I like this concept. He looks, he's running a bit of a cover two scheme. So I like this concept here. Just attacking that loop guy. Attacking that loop guy over and over and over and over and over. I should be doing it on both sides of the ball. That's a mistake I made. I wasn't doing it on both sides of the ball. These games are pretty long, man. All Madden on the, all Madden player friend, the comp mode is, these games take forever. All right, here we go, boom. Double teaming an IDing. Trying to pick up these loopers here. I'm trying to stretch the field. And I just get an inaccurate throw because I'm probably too far in the pocket, but that was such a laser. I'm just not playing good. I mean, I wish I wish I could say I'm getting super cheated and stuff like that, but to, be, but to be honest, I'm just not on my A game here. And then boom, I get lurked. I get lurked here and Ghost is up big 24 to seven. Now, do we have fight? All right, that's the question now. Do we have fight? I've been fighting my whole life. Y'all know, y'all, y'all know the clip in the intro. I've been fighting my whole life. I'm still not worried, believe it or not, because these games are so long. Five minute quarters. These games are so long. I made a couple mistakes, but these games are very long. I'm not. There's no reason to panic. I know I'm playing a good player. These games. These games are very long, right? So he's sitting the heat. He likes to send this heat on first down a lot. Mainly because I have threat detector, which every just about every pro player has. So the best thing you guys can do on early downs is blitz. So if they can, if I can see if you're blitzing on third and fourth down, the best thing for you to do is the blitz on first and second. Boom, that's a high ball. I wanted to float that over his user. I had to test the user right there. I kind of had no choice. I can't really be behind the sticks at this point. Now I'm running hurry up because now I'm just pressing. All right, pressing, taking my quick outs, stiff arming Bo Jackson. I'm just trying to get a little bit of tempo. I'm playing one of my worst games I've I've played in a while. I'm playing bad right now, but we're just trying to clean some things up. We got time. He's trying to set up this this blitz, and I'm just quick. I'm just quick dotting this out route. Just because I threw a pick on that on that play doesn't mean that's not the right read. That's not the right concept. He just made a hell of a play with his user. All right, right here on the right, I should be running flats to attack this loop. That's what I should be running. Boom. Got an inaccurate throw, but the cheetah runs and gets that ball. Dude, the cheetah is amazing. Oh, good lord. They said inaccurate on that ball, and the cheetah ran and got it. Now, the free form kind of saved my inaccuracy right there, but the cheetah is uh, unreal. So here, boom. It's one of my favorite red zone plays. Nothing doing, but I was able to <clears throat> was able to playmaker that guy up the field. Now I'm probably I'm gonna run this back. This is my favorite play down here inside the five. 
because I got this zig concept, I got this in route I could throw, and the zig is just a super laser in between the zones. Nobody can really touch you, fall to the ground, and we're back in this game just like that. We're back in this game just like that. So this time, Gooseman coming out on offense, doing this motion over again. It's very tough to stop. That motion over is just honestly unreal. I scream, he gets the ball off. I go for a pick, and I just don't get it. I mean, I shouldn't have got it right there. I don't deserve a pick when I'm behind the behind the wide receiver. But once again, good play by Ghost. He's just sharp. He's just sharp with this quick diving stuff. I like to keep the numbers on that side, on the correct side of the ball. Strong numbers to the strong side. He's just okay taking the underneath over and over and over. Like he's okay with that. Now this sucks, right? Me being a zone player. I'm used to people knowing only how to beat man. Now, Ghost one of the guys who lasts versus everything. And honestly, in this game, after that throw out of sack, I don't really get any throw out of sack picks. I'm not really that lucky with throw out of sack picks. I thought I should have got one or two in this game. Kind of changed the course of the game, but hey, it is what it is. He launches one here. I have deep out zone KO. I don't click on. He actually could take the best animation you could possibly hope for. That is a Madden 21 animation that you do not see in this game. So that was, that was a crazy, crazy, crazy pitch and catch. It's just not, not, not a lot you could do. I click on, get a big hit stick, my inside stuff, big Warren Sapp. Dude's an absolute animal. Warren Sapp, inside stuff, double or nothing, an absolute animal. Like an absolute animal. I felt like I maybe could have got a fumble right there. So, I mean, we're scratching and clawing during this game right now. So boom, ghost motion and over. Sends out all five. That's a good lurk by me. I click on here just in case he wanted to try to throw that ball to CD. So I can click on and try to get a pick six. Double clicking on versus scrambling quarterback is the best thing you can do because your D linemen aren't going to be able to catch him. So you got two chances to make a play with your user. And right here, boom, I know Ghost likes this. When people in the red zone, when they're running Saints, if they motion out a flat, if they motion out this guy at all, the running back's usually on the wheel. So I now know. I have a two-man read. All right, he has a two-man read. It's in route wheel. It's in route wheel. So my job is to I'm looking for in route wheel here. Boom, because it's a concept that I run. Right? Boom. I got hyped on to my D tackle. Unfortunately, making adjustments, but here we go. Fourth and goal. Right. Fourth and goal. Here we go, and on my mind is still this wheel. Boom, emotions out. Now I'm still thinking in route wheel, in route wheel, in route wheel. Boom, stop, pause, and then jump to the wheel. That's just a great lurk, a uh, great defense by me, knowing what's coming. Um, I really know what's coming because it's a concept that I run. It's a concept that's been ran in Madden for so long. And I just know that the running back is more unguardable than the, than the in route is, honestly, and I just made a play. This is a hell of a play, and we're back in this game. 1,000% back in this game. It's hard to play defense in this game until you get down in that red zone. So you guys see here we're at first and 10. This is a good way to bounce back by Ghost here. Not being afraid, not being timid, knowing he's moving the ball very well. He's playing a much better game than me. I'm being outplayed completely in this game, and I'm still somehow in this game, only down by three. I'm being completely outplayed. That pick six was such a big momentum play. Because I've been struggling on offense here. He's been kind of, I've been close on defense, but he's just been making the right reads. But somehow, some way, we find ourselves down three. So he's moving the ball pretty damn fast. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm a little bit uncomfortable on defense here. Switching to more of a cover three look. Try to stop this flood concept. He kind of gets scared of this Calvin Johnson there. And free forms a little bit too far. He was probably scared that Calvo was gonna jump up in the air. Which I wish he should have. But here we go, third and two. And the biggest play of the game is really coming up here. But my man up the running back because he likes to do that quick, quick wheel. Does not send out the running back, so now I don't have the amount of wrestlers I need to, to stop a route like that because I don't want to run to the sideline with my user. I'm trying to look for um, some pressure there, but unfortunately he blocked the running back. So boom, 
And this right here is the biggest play of the game. Who is this? Calvin Johnson. Boom. Big hit stick. That's the biggest play. All right. I am so good right here in goal line that if someone's on the two-yard line, one-yard line, I feel like I can get a stop every single time as I'm here setting up my speed package. Right? Now, I know Ghost has this backfield master. In the past, I remember in Madden 21, he found this thing with the running back to where when you have backfield master, he's lined up against a, run, a, a linebacker. Uh, you could just ag him. So that's on my mind. Like, I know who I'm playing against. So he motion, he splits him out. Right? He splits him out. I've been in the lab with Ghost a long time. Splits him out. And I'm thinking, oh, he must, he must. That's why he has this backfield master on. Austin Eckler, he tries to chuck it. Drops it. All right. So that's on my mind now. Now I'm like, all right. Let me put a lurker linebacker there. So I stop. I go put, um, not the stork, but Nitschke there. Big tall Nitschke there. Just in case he motions out again. This time it'll be Nitschke guarding him instead of a 50 overall Clay Matthews, right, with lurker. So I have lurker on my user, and there's a lurker out there. He actually splits to the right this time, but that's a DB. Not scared at all. All right, that's fine. I have a DB matched up with him. Boom, he high balls here. I had two hard flats instead of a purple. Can't get his toes down. And here we go. Fourth and goal, right? I mean, this is where we want to be. This is where you want to be. So I know he has this refrigerator parry down here, right? And I want to pause this in a second, too. I don't know if you guys saw me when I was doing my subs. He he has this refrigerator parry out here. Boom, right? So the cool thing about refrigerator parry is he has this ability called goal line back. Now, goal line back provides better run blocking across your entire... Everyone who's blocking is a better run blocker. That's why he lights up. Now, I went ahead to counter this. I have two goal line stuffs on my team that's going to be tony saragusa and keith hamilton and i keep warren sap inside inside stuff right in the heart of this field so even though he has goal line running back i have goal line stuff abilities and an inside stuff to help stop situations like this right so boom you guys can see everyone light up on the on the screen like a christmas tree here boom we got so many people lighting up i'm able to actually get a hit stick with my user on this play so many people are lighting up but you guys see my three guys shed. I want to pause it at that point, honestly. I already told you guys what happened. Boom. Shed, shed. I mean, everyone's shedding. Warren Sapp's coming in free. My user's coming in. And boom, I'm able to lay a big hit stick. I think I get this tackle no matter what. He's probably on aggressive here, which is why this ball pops out. And we have a huge stop. Right? I wish I could have got to the end zone right there with DeMarcus where your ass was at. Mr. Go DeMarcus. But that's a huge stop. Right, and now we're in the driver's seat. Now I have two options here, right? I could either clock this entire game, right, and go take three and go to overtime, or I could try to clock this game and go get seven. So, I mean, I'm in the driver's seat here. Nobody on defense in Madden 2023 20, wants to be in this situation. Nobody. All right, so I'm using my own version of the same flood concept, Ghost Runs, but I don't need, I don't have the quick out route on the left. That's the difference here. But I know that I could freeform this. Boom. Like I said, I'm a freeform demon. I could freeform this ball around anybody because remember, I don't need the full flood concept because this streak, I mean, this backwards post corner pulls this guy with him, right? I don't need anything extra. So I can, I'm able to put this guy on a corner route, and as long as I'm good with my freeform, I can freeform him, boom, down where I need him to be, right? I can freeform down where I need him to be. So that's a big dot. Big dot, big dot, big dot. All right, everyone in Saints runs variations of kind of the same combos with their own, like, little twist to it. Ghost likes to motion over. I, I know that I don't need to motion over, so I don't. Isaiah Pacheco trying to fight for me. Just trying to get to the two-minute warning. Now, a, a good tip for my young Madden players right here. Right here, boom. I know you're trying to get to the two-minute warning. I should be passing the ball here on first down. This is going to get to the two-minute warning no matter what. This was a complete waste of a play. I've been lasering now in the second half. This is a complete waste of a play. I wish I could have that play back. We're hitting the two-minute warning no matter what. Like, I don't have to run the ball there. We back it wide. He runs match. Same concept I threw a pick on last time. Throw the ball away. Looks like he's running a little. He's not really running too many zone drops. All right. He likes match quite a bit. He likes match with the um. He likes match with the um, car flats. 
So now he's back to the loop blitz. Third and ten. He's getting back to the loop. Sending both sides. So I'm going to send out five. Boom. Quick dot. I know his user wants to run to the running back because if you guys remember, the last time I did this motion, I ran Saints half back wheel. Boom. And you guys remember, I threw this to the running back, but I dropped the ball. So he's sprinting there. I know he's going there. Boom. As soon as he clears the area, quick throw my slant to Kittle, and we're we're in bids fourth and one here. Fourth and one. Now I now I run hurry up because I don't want him adjusting any zone drops. I don't want him prepared at all. Right. I take a second here. I remember I, I took I took a second here because I was like, man, I have a concept I have not ran. So I motion him back in, and I now I go to my wheel, my flat wheel concept. I say, man, I have not ran this yet this game. This is the biggest down of the game. Now is the time. All right. Boom. Get my quick dot to Pacheco. Try to get up field. This is great stick work by me and great stick work by Ghost not giving up seven here. Tyreek Hill just cannot block this damn Harold Carmichael. And he, uh, I wish he did. He could not block this Harold Carmichael, and I wish he did. Cause now this is like a tough place to be. Right here, boom. I just have nothing. I'm trying to buy some time in the pocket. And there's just nothing doing. I get shedded, gotta chuck this ball away. Don't wanna eat a sack here, that'd be the worst thing ever. Pause. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired of saying pause, man. All right, here we go. So I wanna go back to this. My, looks like I'm going to Saints half back wheel here. Boom. I actually have the wheel if I would have free formed and got that in. Good defense there by Ghost. It's kind of scary throwing this wheel. All right, I'm sure you guys can see why I was scared because that's no regular guy here. That's the stork, 6'7", Ted Hendricks. If that was anybody else, I would have felt comfortable, but that's 6'7", Ted Hendricks there. And, I mean, Ted Hendricks. I <laughs> mean, dude, I don't think a high ball is really getting over 6'7". So, good defense there by the Goose Man. The Goose Man, Ghost Madden. So boom, go into this concept. You guys know he threw a pick on this concept earlier in the game. He mans up my running back and I just have nothing. Great defense on third and goal. I eat the sack to make sure he burns one more time out. <sighs> Great defense there on third and goal. I'm forced to kick three. Now we get the Ghost's money drive. Now Ghost gets a money drive, 47 seconds. And I just don't want to give up a big play here, man. I made that mistake in the first half, and, I mean, that's on my mind again. No Madden player wants to be in this situation in this game. This is the worst thing ever. Your opponent only needs three to win. Like, this is the worst thing ever imaginable. So, boom, I'm sitting five, getting the loop around. Almost get a sack. Almost get a pick. And I'm losing my mind. My John Lynch has pick artists here. And he gets a hand on this ball. Warren Sapp gets a hand on this ball. And I cannot get the rock. And I'm just like, man, when is it my time? When is it my time? When is it my time? My guys, when is it my time? When is it my time, people? So, boom. Sherman. Keep him in balance there. He has to run hurry up now. Now I'm kind of scrambling. He's kind of scrambling. I want to send, I want to get a sack here because I want the ball, right? I'm, my plan here is I want the ball. He just buys just enough time to get that, get that corner out over Sherman's head. Now, the thing I should have did here is the thing that actually Drini taught me a couple years ago. So in this situation, when they run hurry up, boom, they run hurry up. Boom, boom, boom. Time takes six. I should call timeout right here. I should call timeout. That means I get to get my zone drop set. That time's already burned off. I should be calling timeout there. I should be calling timeout before he snaps this ball. Right? Because the timeout at that point don't hurt. He was going to snap that ball at that time either way. Timeout don't hurt. All right. Brady gets the ball off there. I'm thinking about putting under pressure maybe on these outside linebackers. Dude, I need a little bit more heat. I need a little bit more heat. All right, here we go. Boom, the loop is coming again. I'm trying to click on and get a pick there, but it's just I can't get my hands on this ball. He's not really as good as picking up the loop as me, so I felt comfortable staying in this defense for the entire game. So 
boom right here. I just want the pressure. I know he only need he only needs a few yards, and I'm just trying to get the heat here. Boom. So a little trick there as before this play happens. I want to show you guys what I did here on this big down. He has one timeout. I know he can quick throw to the running back. A little tip I like to do here. Boom. I manned up this outside corner to the running back. A lot of people don't know that. If you guys have a flush side where it's maybe just a tight end or just a tight end and a running back, a wide receiver and a running back, you man up your outside corner to the running back. If the running back does not go out, he auto mans to this guy. So it's essentially this guy is being able to guard two people. The running back goes out. Five guys come, pause, and I scream and I lurk this guy. Or if the running back doesn't go out, I don't have to look at this guy at all. I can now lurk this left side of the field. I just did not commit. Boom. Kittle, feet down. And I'm just stressed, man, because nobody wants to be in that situation at all. <laughs> you guys see, I know I just lost this game. And I'm like... Beans, Rice, Jesus Christ, and Byron. I'm sick. I am sick, man. I'm very, very tough at the game right now. And I honestly felt like after I saw who made the finals in this tournament, I would have, I would have won this one. I would have walked home with a thousand dollars on this Friday evening. So you guys see, he's teeing up. I'm trying to ice the kicker, man. There's just so many abilities in this game. You can't even ice people's kickers anymore. I mean, what do you do? I mean, how do you how do you stop people in these situations? You can't even ice the kicker anymore, man. So these are like just these are layups. These are layups. Boom, Justin Tucker right through the uprights, and I'm just oh, I know I just I just missed that on an opportunity to make some easy money tonight on this on this night. But overall, man, good games to my boy Ghost. I'll try to do more breakdowns like this for you guys to give you guys more of a perspective inside the mind of myself and maybe some other pro players.